What's going on you guys and welcome back. Yes, yes you have seen it correctly. We are back again with once again another account review. As you guys have known I've taken a break from the account reviews which has actually been pretty nice even though you know I won't rant about uh, you know just me being busy with other things in life. But we are back at it again and Mana put in his uh, requests for his uh, account review, which I think this is the second or probably third time honestly that he's had his account review done, so we'll see how far he progressed, but once again account reviews are open, it's just that I'm changing the way that I'm doing it, not necessarily the way that I do the videos, but just how much I do with the account reviews during a month, so they'll probably end up like, like trickle in here and there uh, if I can fit them in but I'm not gonna do like I did last year where like I literally spent like two months it felt like just doing account reviews but anyways let's go ahead and dive right into it I do have a couple of account reviews backed up after this one so if you do want an account review done um, get up get up with me and we'll try we will try and schedule a time just letting you know probably for right now for at least for the rest of march i'm pretty much uh topped up on account reviews so it won't be until april unless those people fall through for the account review but let's go ahead boys and girls and dive right into this account review well this account revisit shall i say all right so as we can see here, just making sure you guys know whose account this is. This is Mana um, Star Brando, aka Mana Skin, who also has a YouTube channel which you guys need to check out. Even though he doesn't post too often, but when he does, he's definitely one of my favorite uh, MSL YouTubers. But let's go ahead and take a dive into his account. So what I want to do here is sort it by element because I'm an element type of guy. I don't really care about the grade. I don't care about attack. I don't care about kinds unless I can't find one of my 25 dark Yukis. And recent is good for just releasing stuff. But we're going to go ahead and change this up. So we're going to start from the bottom and work our way to the top, you guys. So I'm just going to skip past stuff like this because this is just fodder or stuff in that's in the works and I don't really assume that there's gonna be much going on here like this one she doesn't have a square slot not a big deal but she's level one evil one not expecting too much from it so let's go over here and start off with uh, some dark Venuses so we have two different ones one is on a protection set and one is on a broken set let's take a look at this one though uh, no books on her only Evo 2 she probably just came from the event which makes sense but she has a recovery gem on her, a HP gem with some recovery, and then a defense gem with some resist and a fat amount of recovery up there. Let's go and take a look at her enhancements because even though she's Evo 2, she is still usable and he may have plans in the future to somehow Evo 3 her. Uh, if it's the world boss way though, it's going to be a while, but it's better than, you know, buying a whole bunch of Venuses. To, uh, supplement that but let's take a look at her enhancements real quick so crit resist there's some defense percentage HP percentage and HP flat nothing spectacular but definitely just making sure that she can survive as much as she can moving on to this one over here um, same thing going on here uh, let's take a look at the broken set though uh, there's an HP gem with 26.5% recovery on that one there's a defense gem with some resist and recovery. And then there's also another defense gem with some recovery up there. So recovery, defense, defense if I'm... Yep, okay, that's what it was. And enhancements, recovery, HP, recovery, defense. So these probably are just some more working... Well, these are probably just work in progress. So nothing to really scoff about, to be honest. There's a shadow over here, he's on a broken set. Not sure if he's being used, but he does have one book on him, but there's no trinket, so probably not, which we can just go ahead and skip past him because it doesn't look like there's anything extravagant going on there. Uh, there's a dark Katine on a broken set as well, and he's sitting at 73% uh, resist. But once again, nothing extravagant, so I'm not really gonna focus on that. Same thing with Dark Spark it. He doesn't even have any enhancements, so he's probably not being used even though his 63 percent resist is pretty pretty nice not amazing but nice we do have dark bulby over here on a broken set though she does have trinkets and she is booked up so i'm assuming especially with those enhancements that she is being used so she has hp gem on her with 17 percent resist uh she has a defense gem with 24 percent resist 
and then she has another HP gem on her with some defense and then 14% resist as well. Oh yeah, let's take a look at the enhancements before I forget. I just tend to forget that type of stuff for some reason. Uh, just HP and defense, so he's going for some survivability here, but it doesn't look like she's done yet, hence only the three stars. Um, there's a dark snow white here, but she's missing a gem and no trinket, so we're going to go ahead and bypass her. Uh, Thor is on an intuition set, which is pretty standard for him, but no books, no enhancements. I'm 99% sure he's not being used either. Let's take a look at this dark Tina though, boys. Let's take a look at her. So she is on a uh, SP Siphon set, which is very, very important for wave clearing. She's fully booked up and she does have some enhancements, but she has an attack gem of 20% crit rate up there. It's pretty nice for a Siphon gem. Your standard crit rate gem up there. Nothing extra extravagant in terms of subs, um, but once again, him having just freaking a crit rate gem of Siphon is already hoggers in itself and then just another attack gem with a little bit of crit rate up there some resists as well but not really necessary if she's her main purpose is just nuking and she is sitting at 100 percent crit rate which is super duper helpful for helping her clear out waves but she has some crit damage there's attack hp and then crit rate to help top off her crit rate um she could obviously use like attack percentage and stuff like that but i i'm assuming at this point in time that she's no longer a big focus Coming up next though is Dark Xiao Wu Jing. Um, no books on him yet, but he is fully enhanced. No super ascension yet, and he doesn't have a square thought. He doesn't have a square thought, and yes, he's using an intuition set. But do keep in mind that he is sitting at 90% resist. Not 90% resist, but 90% crit rate. So to all of you out there crying and hollering that you don't have any crit rate because your mind didn't come with a square thought, it's still possible. And we all know that Mana is the king of uh, crit rate, crit damage, and attack. If you guys haven't seen his last or his old uh, account revisit. But let's go ahead and take a, a, a goo at this. So there's an attack gem with 14% crit rate on it. We got a crit damage gem with 13.5% uh, crit rate on it. And then we have another attack gem. So he's doing attack, attack, crit damage. On intuition set which once again isn't bad at all there's a little bit of crit damage on this gem and then some fat crit rate and a little bit of resist right there definitely not bad at all let's take a look at the enhancements uh, he has crit damage there's a defense well flat defense crit rate HP attack and then more attack pretty solid he's not like dark ender level but he's pretty solid uh, he has some trinkets on him as well so there's a refined trinket there's a glowing trinket, which adds some more uh, resist and crit damage to him, and then uh, just a crit, resi crit resist trinket. I don't really click on the trinkets though, if you guys haven't noticed, just because their stats vary, but they don't vary by that much, and just certain trinkets naturally give you more crit damage than others, so it's kind of redundant for me to sit right here and click on every single trinket that I see when it's just a waste of time. Moving on next though, we have a broken set, Dark Cupid. He's fully booked up. He has some enhancements. He also is sitting at max resist at that nice, nice 85% cap. Just right here on the dot. But let's get let's take a, a goo at this. So he has an HP gem with 22% resist and 18.5% recovery. Another HP gem with 17% resist. And then another HP gem because he is an HP aggressor. I hope that he has a whole bunch of uh, HP gems on him. With some resist and once again some recovery. Attack doesn't really matter. Um, nothing super duper amazing. But there's really no wrong way to build your aggressor. Unless you have an HP aggressor and you give, you've given him triple defense. Because you're weird like that. But you know as long as he is able to do his job and survive. That's pretty much the biggest selling point here. Uh, for enhancements, he has recovery, crit resist, HP, and recovery. So he might be a work in progress. But once again, uh, what I'm seeing here is a very big pattern with Mana where he stops at the fourth sub for enhancements because the, the latter ones could be very, very important. But if you push the important stuff first, you don't have to worry about the other essence because as you get deeper into this, obviously... It gets a lot more costly, and if you don't have the nat fours to really back that up, you're in for a bad time. 
Uh, this is his other Dark Bulby. The variant one, once again, fully booked up. She is on a leech set, though, and she does have some enhancements. So she has a defense. Uh, she's not on leech set, my bad. She is on a gem of healer set. I saw the HP gain, and I was like, leech automatically. But yeah, she's on a gem of healer set, which basically ensures that she gains 10% of her, uh, 10 percent of her HP uh, every round, regardless of what happens. But she has a defense gem on her with a little, little bit of attack up there, some crit damage. She has an HP gem with 14% resist and 15% recovery. And then she has another HP gem. So this one is meant to survive. It's not really used for damage, which I could definitely understand because while her stats are more orientated towards her being um, a damage dealer, Exposed Weakness isn't a damage dealer in itself. It sets other mons up for dealing uh, nice amounts of damage and not so much that mon itself. So it, it makes sense. And then enhancements, once again, just more tankier type deal going on here. Just HP and defense. Moving on next, though, we have the god himself, Sir Dark Fibian. And he is on Intuition set. He's probably not being used, though, because there's no enhancements on him. But we're going to take a look at him anyway. So he has a crit rate gem with some recovery, a little bit of resist. An attack gem with a little bit of crit rate up there. And 16% resist on that one. And then an HP gem with crit rate, defense, a little bit of defense, and some resist. Once again, nothing super duper incredible here. He is sitting at max crit rate, and honestly, crit rate attack HP is pretty standard for Dark Fibian. So, it is what it is, but I figured I would take a look at him because he is one of my favorite uh, newbie mons. Moving on next though, we have Dark Sand Wraith over here. Fully booked up, as we can see. No enhancements on him though, but he is on a Ruin set. So, he has an HP gem on him with 17% resist and 13.5% crit rate. There is an attack gem with 16% crit rate and a little bit of resist. And then there's a crit rate gem with 14% resist up there and nearly 20% defense. That's okay. And he's sitting at 94% crit rate without enhancements. Hey dude. He doesn't technically need crit rate. But he is a dark type, he isn't a curse mon, so I could definitely understand getting some more damage out of him, if possible, to go ahead and uh, work together with that Persevere. Moving on though, we have Dark Seether over here on a broken set. Uh, we're going to take a goo at him though, because even though he doesn't have trinkets, he does have some enhancements going on to him. But let's take a look. So uh, he has an attack gem with 14, nearly 15% crit rate up there, and then 21-ish percent defense. A uh, crit rate gem with 20% resist, and then a crit damage gem. So crit rate, attack, crit damage. So 13.5% crit rate up there, and then 13% uh, resist. Once again, this is pretty standard for Mana. He is the crit rate, uh, crit damage, and then attack uh, king, as I said earlier in the video here. Let's take a look at the enhancements. So attack, HP, and crit rate. Maybe a work in progress, or just purely world boss fodder is what we're seeing here. Not saying that Dark Thieler is a bad mon because it isn't at all. Then we have a Dark Mandy over here on a Bastion set. Interesting. Interesting. Fully booked up. She does have some enhancements but once again no trinkets. Uh, she is past the max crit rate though. But she has an HP gem with 20% crit rate on her. An attack gem with 14% crit rate. And then a crit rate gem with 16% uh, resist. I'm kind of weirded out though by the HP gem. If she's on a Bastion set. I figured she would be like full nuke status. Hmm. This did not go into a direction I anticipated. Let's take a look at these enhancements. Uh, HP, attack, crit rate, and then defense. We have Dark Marie over here. She's fully booked up as well. And um... Let's take a look at her gems. She does have enhancements and she is on a broken set, but she's sitting at 97% crit rate and then nearly 40% resist. Um, she has an attack gem over here with 17% resist and 13% crit rate. Uh, HP gem with uh, nearly 20% crit rate on it and 17% attack. And then a crit rate gem of 14% resist. So what was that? 
Attack, HP. Crit rate. Hmm. I'm not a big fan of her anyway, so it doesn't matter what I have to say <laughs> at, at this point. Uh, no trinkets on Dark Gatito either. Sad face because Dark Gatito is one of my favorite mons. Like, not even kidding. Like, Dark Gatito and Dark Indra. Straight smiley face squad. But he's on an in intuition set. He's rocking a attack gem with 15% resist up there and a little bit of crit rate. Uh, there's another attack gem with nearly 13% crit rate on, up on that one. And then crit rate, I didn't mean to click on that one, with 16% resist and some recovery, which doesn't really matter, but crit rate, attack, attack. Not the worst build in the world for Gatito, especially if he's not being used, but obviously if you can get this boy in ruin, we're talking about a lot of damage. Moving on though, we have a Dark Miho on a broken set. She's fully booked up, she's super evolved, no trinkets. She's sitting at 22% resist and nearly 80% uh, crit rate though. So let's take a goo. So she has a uh, HP gem of 21.5% crit rate on that one. Another HP gem with 19.5% crit rate on that one and 13% resist. And then another HP gem with 28% crit rate on, up on that one. A little bit of resist once again. Not bad. Enhancements, just HP mainly, and then a little bit of defense, and some crit damage just to take advantage of her being a dark type, which makes sense. And obviously, I'm not going to be like complaining about the defense that being added, because while her damage doesn't scale off of her um, defense, that does still add some survivability to her. Because you can have all the HP in the world, but if you have zero defense, you're still going to get nuked, bro. It, 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 it doesn't matter. Uh, moving on next though, we have Dark Sea Star. She's sitting at a fat 75% uh, resist. And for crit resist, she's sitting at 28%. She is sitting also sitting at 97% crit rate. So not only is she pushing near max resist, but she's pushing near max crit rate as well, boys. Welcome to the end game. But she is on hopefully a triple defense, if not a defense defense crit rate set, probably the latter. But a uh, defense gem of 17% resist and 6.5% crit rate, nothing extravagant there. Another defense gem with 14% uh, crit rate up there and 17% resist. And then a crit rate gem with 21% crit damage. That's, that's a lot of crit damage on that gem and that's what I thought. That is what I thought. I mean, you do get more damage out of her built this way versus triple defense unless triple defense has you know close if not to the cap of crit damage that's when you're going to out damage this depending on what set that you have but there's two ways you can build your aggressors you can either do a, a crit uh rate gem with their um focus skill for their aggression so either defense or hp or you could just do triple of whatever set that they have it's really up to you and what you want to get out of them but this is a nice Dark Sea Star. She has a crit rate uh, sub up there. There's some defense, crit damage, resist, and then crit resist as well. So she's trying to make sure that she is an F word to fight, which is totally, totally understandable. All right, moving on next though, we're gonna skip past this fodder and move right on to the juicy bits. So we're gonna work our way up here and let's go ahead and start off with this Kilo Bat, who is level 60 well not level 60 but he's been ascended to six stars not booked up literally just level one no gems what what anyways moving on though we have uh light and kidu over here um there's some enhancements on him, trinkets as well on a broken set, but he's rocking 70%, uh, 76% crit rate up there, and there's 15% resist and a little bit of crit resist as well. But let's take a stick a gander. Uh, HP gem on him with 12% defense and then 21.5% crit rate. A defense gem with 12.5% uh, attack and then 13.5% crit rate, and then a attack gem. So bruiser build with uh, 14. 14.5% crit rate on that one. Definitely a bruiser build right there. Nothing extra extravagant here. He's only Evo 2 as well, so maybe it's not a big investment at this point in time. But uh, he has an HP sub on him. There's crit rate, crit damage, and then some attack to get some more damage out of him because 
I mean, once he gets to Evo 3, his attack stat won't be as anemic as it is right now, but it makes sense. Uh, Thor, we're going to really skip past him. It doesn't like he's really here for anything at all, other than maybe world boss fodder. Um, and then we also have... What is her name, dude? What is her name? Verde. Verde. Uh, nothing's going on here with her either, but she is sitting at 55% resist, so let's take a goo at that real quick. Uh, she has a defense gem on her with 22% resist on that one. Uh, HP gem with 18% resist. And then another HP gem. So HP, HP defense. Makes sense, which is, I think, arguably the more tankier of the builds that you can uh, deal with in terms of gems. And this one has 15% resist up there. Uh, then we have Light Pixie over here on a Gem of Healer set. She dov does have enhancements. She is fully booked up and she has definitely been killing it lately in the game in terms of Titan compositions because dudes are sleeping on Light Pixie. I was definitely one of them, but now, dude, she's, came, she's just come back strong, boys. Strong. But she has a Defense Gem with 13% uh, resist up there. Uh, a HP Gem with 8 percent resist and nearly 20 percent recovery and then another defense gem with nine percent resist up there and let's take a look at her enhancements real quick there's hp recovery resist and more hp so trying to maximize trying to maximize some survivability right there definitely not bad Moving on next though, we do have a Light Siegfried here. He is Evo 3. He does have some enhancement snow books though, but he's sitting at 85% resist as well as 20% uh, crit resist and then 103% crit rate, which he's slightly above the cap, but he has a crit rate gem up on him with 14% attack and 24% resist. Um, then there's also an attack gem with 13.5% crit rate on that one. 14% resist and then 11% crit damage and then crit rate attack attack to no one's surprise actually I'm kind of surprised because even though he, he doesn't have a triangle slot I'm sure Mana would have tried to slip in some uh, crit damage on that boy but this last attack gem has 15% crit rate up there and then 24% resist let's take a gander at these uh Enhancements though, so there's some defense, there's crit damage, resist, attack, HP, and then some more attack just to get a little bit more damage out of him. I mean, he's on a broken set, but this is a perfect example of a really good broken set. Like, this broken set probably beats out a lot of people's four or five star sets with just garbage subs up there. Just FYI, saying it like it is. Uh, then there's Light Marie over here, she's sitting at a fat, a fat 95% uh, crit rate and 30% resist. No enhancements though and no trinkets, but she is fully booked up, so let's take a peek at her gems. We're here anyways. Uh, defense gem with 13.5% crit rate. Another defense gem with a little bit of crit rate and then 13% resist. And then there's a crit rate gem with 4% crit damage and then 9% resist. Uh, nothing extra extravagant there. Once again, he's building her more DPS orientated versus not. You know, versus survivability, which is perfectly fine. I'm just not really a big fan of her because Light Nike beats her out and then Dark Sea Star just takes both them girls and just pushes them off the cliff. Just like that. We have a Light Mildew. Not really going to get into him. Seems like, you know, there's nothing to talk about here. Um, Light Miho, she is on a broken set. She's sitting at 51% resist. Doesn't look like there's any any real investment into her, though, because she is fully booked up, but not even super evoed, and no trinkets and no enhancements, so I'm not going to really worry about that. And then for the baby sharks, uh, we can quickly just go through these guys because they're they should all be pretty similar so let's go ahead and take a look at them so they're uh at least this one is on a broken set here uh he's rocking an hp gem with 14 percent recovery a defense gem with 13 percent resist and then 14 percent recovery 
and then another HP gem with 6% resist and nearly 30 what nearly 27% recovery which makes sense you want that recovery stat up so when he heals his heal is as potent as possible and with HP HP defense going on it obviously makes sense as to what's going on here and not to mention baby shark is a super duper awesome healer especially when you can't get a hold of dark venus uh, enhancements wise though he has recovery uh, HP and then some defense just once again for some for some survivability and the trinkets over here they just add some HP they add some defense and recovery and that's pretty much it I'm gonna go ahead and assume that the other guys have pretty much the same setup here but obviously their maximum selling point is just surviving to get that fat attack up on your squad and that decent attack down on the Titans and going through here, this one's pushing 85% resist. This one is pushing 70% resist. Uh, this one's pushing 74%, and this one's pushing um, nearly 70%. And this one's also on a recovery set as well. Uh, HP gem, defense gem with some recovery and some resist, and then another HP gem. Makes sense of just raising his recovery up though, just to make him a little bit less dependent on recovery substats, which is kind of what I try and aim for with my healers if possible to get them on the recovery set. But we're going to skip past those. I'm sure there's probably one that I miss because I always miss it, and you guys never tell me until after the account review is done that, oh, you should have took a look at, you should have took a look at this because you skipped it, and I'm just like, bro, you could have told me that. Uh, we have Light Zephyros here though, he does have enhancements, and he is on a... Conviction set rocking 27% crit resist and then 75% resist. So let's take a look at him. He has an HP gem with 16% resist up there. By the way, if you don't notice, I'm kind of like ignoring substats don't, that don't really mean anything just to save myself some, some vocal rest. Uh, there's a defense gem up here with 14% resist. And then an HP gem with 17% resist and then 12% defense. So what was that? HP, HP defense? Yep. Once again, he's going for maximum uh, survivability, which makes sense in this situation because of resistance down and shock. And for his subs, there's just defense, there's crit resist, some HP, and then some more resist. Then we have Light Neza over here. What a great gal she is. Not fully booked up. We're going to have to go ahead and cut off this account review right now, boys. This is just baffling she is on a ruin set though which is a bit of a weird champ i mean it's not like bad but curious so she has a hp gem up there with 14.5 percent uh crit rate a little bit of attack up there too she has a defense gem with a little bit of resist and 12 percent crit rate and then another hp gem with 20 percent crit, crit rate up there I mean, I guess you could technically say that you could get some damage out of her, even though her anemic, like, not even 2k attack stat doesn't really promote anything, but if, if she crits, hey man, maybe I'll get an extra couple thousand off on her or something, I, I don't know. Uh, enhancements though, she has HP, defense, and then of course crit resist because of the titans. Mainly, you know, light and dark titan, if that is where she's being used at, which I hope she is. He also has a light Pinolo, fully booked up, Evo 3, level 60, on a broken set. Uh, attack gem of 14%, 14.5% crit rate up there. A crit rate gem of 13% resist. And then an HP gem with uh, nearly 19% nearly attack up there, and then 12.5% crit rate. I'm a bit confuzzled. Moving on though, we have Light Wendigo, he is on a Conviction set, once again rocking the Wombo combo here with 20% crit resist, 85% resist boys, and he's sitting at a whopping 103% crit rate. Fully booked up, fully enhanced, no super evolutions, who knows if that's going to come because if that ever does come. Wendigora, aka Wendigo, is going to be Wendahor, dude, like, for real. But he has an attack gem up there with 7.5% crit rate and 24% resist, which is a fat amount. There's the, there's the crit damage gem. There's the crit damage gem. There's 8% resist up there. Uh, there's a little bit of attack and defense. And then 21.5% crit rate up there. 
Boys, we know what the last gem is. Do we need do we even need to click on the last gem to know what we're rocking? I don't think we do. But we're here already, so we're gonna go ahead and click on it. Twenty six percent resist on that crit rate gem. 26% resist and it's a crit rate gem. I've already called it you guys I've said this at least two times in this video already I already called it. I knew what was gonna happen. Bam it happened That's I mean it's not crit damage attack attack, but that's still pretty clean um, Enhancements though we have some defense HP and then some attack as well as some more crit damage just to get a little bit more out of there because I knew something was up when I was looking at it and I saw that 108% crit damage being added, I was like, dude, there's no way. Absolutely no way. Moving on though, we have Light Leo on the Pugilist set. Once again, just to make him an F word, but not super evoed, but fully booked up. Yeah, this, this account revisit is totally over, dude. Totally over. But anyways, his Pugilist set is rocking an HP gem with 12.5% attack, 22% crit rate, uh, there's an attack gem with 22% crit rate up there. And then another attack gem. So HP attack attack uh, with 14% resist up there and then 11% crit rate. Uh, enhancements wise, he's rocking resist, crit resist, HP, and then attack percentage as well. Just to get a little bit more damage out of him. So he's built not super duper glassy, which is fine because I don't understand why people run their light leo glassy especially if they use them in a defensive situation like i don't understand why people do that but this is a fair balance definitely a fair balance and the pugilist does add into his five star skill of you know him being able to get it off fast so even if his five star skill with his stun doesn't hit there's still a chance hopefully that that pugilist set will proc and he can still get that stun off so i'm okay with this uh, moving on though, we have the other Light Wendigo. Not as extravagant here, not as flashy, but once again, still pretty good. Uh, he has an attack gem with 20% crit rate up there and 20% defense. My goodness. Uh, there's an another attack gem with 11% crit damage and 20% crit rate. And then there's the crit damage gem with 20% crit rate. So that's attack attack crit damage. Sitting at 100% crit rate. I mean, the only thing that can make this set better is if he could hit 100% crit rate on a ruin set with attack attack crit damage. But you you can't have everything in the world, but that's still a pretty good, a pretty good win to go. Fully booked up as well. Let's take a look at the enhancements. Once again, HP, attack, crit damage, a little bit of defense. Pretty much just standard for maximizing his damage. But once again, it makes sense. It makes sense. Moving on though, we have this other light Siegfried also on a broken set. Uh, he's sitting at nearly uh, max crit rate, 96% to be uh, exact. He has an attack gem of 26.5% crit rate up there. Uh, there's a crit damage gem with 70%, not 70%, but with 12% crit rate up there and 20.5% attack, which is a pretty fat amount. And then boys, what is the last one going to be? It's an attack gem. I'm actually surprised. Actually surprised. It's sitting at nearly 28% crit rate though. So there's a fat amount of crit rate coming from that. Which explains why he's sitting at 96%. Enhancements wise though. He has uh, attack, defense, HP. There's some crit rate and also some crit damage. Definitely not a bad light Siegfried. Not bad at all. We got light Nike. No uh, gems on her at the moment, so she's probably not being used. Uh, and then two Light Yuki Gang. Two of them, boys. One is on a broken set, one is on a ruined set. Let's take a look at the broken set. First one, though. Uh, both are super evoed and both are booked up. But the broken set one is ro rocking 28% crit resist, 60% resist, and then 96% crit rate. Solid. Uh, HP gem on her with 14.5% crit rate and then 16% resist. She has a crit rate gem on her with 16% resist. HP crit rate attack. Yep. So he's trying to get some damage out of her while also giving her survivability. 
very very smart because it doesn't matter how much damage your shot can do shot ain't gonna do nothing if you're dead and this attack gem over here has a little bit of crit rate in defense and then 16 percent resist let's take a look at the enhancements there's some attack crit damage hp defense and then also some crit resist now this one hopefully is pretty spicy on this rune set right here she has a crit rate gem with 16 percent resist and then nearly 20 percent attack uh, HP gem of 20.5% uh, crit rate. And then an attack gem of 16% resist. So he's playing it safe here. He doesn't want to go too glassy on the girls. Because he doesn't want them dying super duper prematurely. Which with a 30k base HP stat isn't anything to scoff at. But if that's all that you have. Yeah it's really not going to help you. Even with trinkets. So it makes sense. Uh, enhancements wise though. She has defense. There's attack. Crit rate. Crit resist. Crit damage. And yeah, she's totally maxed out in terms of crit rate, which means that she's going to get that additional crit damage every single time. And I mean, her resist isn't anything amazing, but it's like, bro, just don't get hit, man. Just don't get hit. All right, moving on next, though, we have the wood mons here. Obviously, we have at least 25 million Hanas. So we're not going to give too much of a focus on that, but we have a lot of Hanas here. Probably the most Hanas I've seen so far because we're sitting at what? There's five right there, six, seven. Can we get an eight? Yep, there's the eighth one right there. My goodness, dude. Is Hana that good, bro? Like, I have four of them, but I don't have that many. So we're going to go ahead and skip the line here, and we're just going to look at the top ones because it looks like they're all just pu pushing near max resist. And probably similar setups in terms of uh, their gemming. But anyways, we have a Evo 2 Garuda over here. Not even Evo 3, bro. Uh, he is on Intuition set. He's rocking 78% um, resist and 81% uh, crit rate. There's a crit damage gem right there. There's also uh, some type of scammer trying to call my phone that I'm not going to answer. Um, there's a 19% crit rate sub on that one. Uh, HP gem for some su for some survivability, 14% resist up there, and 13.5% crit rate, as well as 13.5% attack, and then uh, an attack gem of 13% uh, resist, and then 18.5% crit rate. So uh, kind of a bruiser is bruiser ish build right here. Nothing super duper extravagant, but just some survivability since he is going to be on the left lane and not the right lane, which makes sense. Uh, coming up next, though, we have Wood, Wood and Kidu over here. Uh, he's sitting at Evo 2 as well, which I didn't take a look at his enhancements real quick. Sorry, sorry. Let's take a look at it real quick. Gather it in. And let's go ahead and move on. We have Wood and Kidu. Luckily, I caught myself. Hopefully, I don't do that anymore during this. But he's on a broken set. He does have enhancements as well. He has an attack gem with 14% resist, as well as 15% defense and 13% crit rate. Uh, another attack gem with 20% uh, crit rate up there. And then a crit damage gem, once again, no surprise. Uh, with 19.5% crit rate up there and 25% resist. So he's sitting at 63% uh, crit rate. Not necessarily saying that a crit damage gem is the best at that point in time, just because. If, you know, you're playing the lottery at that point in time with that low of crit rate for crit damage, but uh, he has crit damage, HP resist, defense, and then uh, some more HP as well. Uh, here's another Garuda, but this one's booked up. He's on a broken set, but he's rocking 46% uh, resist and 77% crit rate up there. And on this broken set, his attack gem has 26% crit rate. Uh, his other attack gem has 27% crit rate. And then his crit damage gem has 14% crit rate. And then 18.5% defense. So 67% crit rate, I mean... Not horrible, especially with a crit damage gem, but I don't know, dude. Like, I feel like I'm in, like, the 85 plus club if I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit with a crit damage gem, but... I mean, mana out damages me and Titan, so obviously you guys know... You know, whose account should you be following? Whose YouTube channel should you be following? 
Uh, enhancements wise though, he has crit damage, there's some resist, there's some attack, HP, a little mix of everything right there. It's just sad face gaming that this didn't all dump into the weekend. You hate to see it, man. And then here's Wood Merlin, which I'm not sure what mod I picked for the uh, Heroes Festival exclusive ticket that we had gotten, but maybe it was Wood Merlin, not really sure. But anyways, he's rocking uh, nearly 96%, well he's not rocking nearly max uh, crit rate with 96% with uh, crit rate up there, 30% uh, resist and 21% crit resist. He has a crit damage stem on him with 22% crit rate. He has an attack gem of 27.5% uh, crit rate, and then another attack gem of 28% crit rate. So crit damage, attack, attack, trying to really, really drive home as much damage as possible from that uh, Merlin, which totally makes sense. But there's a crit rate sub, crit damage, we have defense, HP, and also attack. I'm pretty sure that if you can get like even like 1% more in terms of crit rate on these gems and like get that enhancement up, Easy, 100%. Easy. There is a tail tier, but he is just here. I'm not really going to focus on him at all because there's nothing extravagant going on here. Uh, we have a Wood Shahrazad. Uh, she is on a ruin set here. I do know that Luca is looking for a Wood Shahrazad because she is like Wood Fibian but on crack. Let's take a look at these gems though at EVO 2. So she has a defense gem on her with 15.5% crit rate. Uh, there's another defense gem with 21% crit rate. And then there's an HP gem with 7% crit rate and then 16% crit damage. So she's sitting at 58% crit rate which isn't bad at all. I mean she doesn't need it especially since she's a debuffer. But I've seen a lot of people run their debuffers on a um, ruin set. I mean, it, it, in the end, doesn't really matter that much. I mean, if you're trying to go for a new PB, every single digit counts. But it it doesn't really matter that much. At least in my opinion, but what do I know? I'm nothing more than a casual. Uh, enhancements, though. She has HP and a little bit of crit rate up there. Bit of a weird champ, though. Oh, well. We'll move on here. We're going to go ahead and just hop the line here. And let's take a look at this Hana right here because she's nearly fully booked up, but he look, looks like he ran out of a book. And the other one at the top is Super Evoed, but she's on a broken set and she has a defense gem with 15% resist and 20.5% recovery. She has an HP gem with 15% resist and nearly 20% recovery. And then she has a defense gem with 21% recovery and 16% resist. So HP, defense, defense, enhancements, she has some defense, recovery, and HP. Once again, just making sure that she can survive as long as possible. And I know that there's plenty of Hanas to choose from here. It's just that I end up choos choosing one of the ones that are higher on the list. And we'll take a, a look at the Super Evo one as well. Uh, we also have a Wood Cherry here on a broken set. She's sitting at max resist though, which could be an F word when it comes to the Net 3 League. But she has an HP gem of 23% resist and 20% defense. Another HP gem of 26% resist. And then another HP gem with 24% resist. Pretty, pretty solid, even for a broken set. Uh, we're going to jump the line here for the mini cats and go for the most enhanced one as well. Um, this mini cat is rocking 85% resist. Uh, he has enhancements. Obviously, he also is fully booked up. And let's, let's take a look. So he has a defense gem with 18% resist and 20.5% recovery. There's also another defense gem. Nothing extravagant there. And then HP. So defense, defense, HP. And this HP gem has 30% resist up there and 13.5% recovery as well. Making sure that the heals are as potent as possible. Uh, for his enhancements though, he has some resist, HP, recovery, defense, and HP. Once again, for survivability. And we're going to be jumping the line once again because of the Fibians are all pretty much the same here. This one is on a Conviction set though, fully booked up, uh, he's sitting at 58% resist. Uh, it is an HP gem, nothing incredible right there. Another HP gem with nearly 20% attack, even though Fibian's just used for debuffing. And then a defense gem, once again nothing extravagant there, but I mean, you don't really need too much for a debuffer as long as they can survive and do their job. 
We have a wood lupin, but I'm just going to skip him. And we're going to go right over here to this uh, wood Pinolo. Uh, he's rocking six, uh, not 60, but 82% resist and then nearly 60% crit rate. And he does have enhancements on him on a broken set. So there's an attack gem of 20% uh, crit rate up there and 12% resist. There is another attack gem of 22% resist and 14.5% crit rate. And then a crit damage gem of 14% crit rate and then 16% resist. So uh, once again, crit damage, attack, attack. Mana is going for broke here, man. 60% resist, not 60% resist, but 60% crit rate pushing with a crit damage gem, man. He's trying to he's trying to get that damage out there. Um, we also have a wood door over here. Uh, this guy is fully booked up. He does have enhancements, so he is obviously hopefully being used. But he's sitting at 48% resist and nearly 100% crit rate. Uh, he has a crit rate gem up there. Uh, this is the gem of armor set by the way, which gives obviously we can see 30% crit damage and 15% resist uh, And this attack gem has 16% crit damage on up on it uh, And then this attack gem has 28% crit rate up there and a little bit of resist as well So we have what crit rate attack attack Yeah, there's no triangle slot because mana would have slid in a crit damage gem. I guarantee it guarantee it uh, enhancements though we have some attack HP defense crit damage and a little bit of resist there's a wood Yuki but she may be in the works or maybe she got dropped due to the recent update because her gems are gone and she was fully booked up in super Evo as well but she probably just got dropped at this point in time and then we have the other Hanahime which we can take a look at because I bypassed like all six of the other ones but she's fully booked up super evoed and on this broken set she's rocking an hp gem with 28 percent defense and 14.5 percent recovery uh, there's a defense gem of 21 percent recovery and then another defense gem with 19.5 percent recovery and 15 percent resist so hp defense defense and enhancements wise is just hp recovery and defense once again boys once again Alright, moving on next. I didn't know that Mana had this many bass, dude. He is like neck and neck for me in terms of competition for freaking bass, dude. We're both sitting at three, man. What is this? But obviously we're going to just bypass this and we'll pick the best out of the bunch, which I'm assuming is this gal over here. Uh, she is on a broken set. She does have some enhancements on her. Obviously trinkets the whole nine yards, but she has an HP gem of 16.5% defense up there as well as 22% resist. There's a defense gem with 15% resist up there and 22% recovery. And then a recovery gem, obviously because it is best, with 14% resist up there and 14% HP as well. Uh, enhancements wise though, she's rocking recovery. There's defense and some recovery because Bass needs that recovery set to be fat because it is low. And an Evo 2 is even lower than what it should be. But it is what it is. Moving on next though, we have a Evo 2 Water Draca here with one enhancement uh, on a broken set, rocking nearly 80% um, resist up here. Uh, she has a defense gem of 13% crit rate and then 15% resist. There's an HP gem of 14% resist. And then there's another HP gem with 22% resist. So HP, HP defense. Um, nothing really to say at all. Uh, there's an HP gem up there as well. We have a Water Hades here. He is on a broken set with 29% uh, resist and then 67, 64%, 74% uh, crit rate. He has an attack gem of 20.5% crit rate. Crit damage gem with 22% crit rate. And then a, an attack gem. So attack, crit damage, attack, I believe. Uh, and this one has 14.5% defense as well as 20.5% crit rate. Which, 74% really isn't that bad for this type of setup right here. Uh, enhancements wise though, there's some HP resist, there's some attack and crit damage, but no crit rate to go ahead and boost that up to hopefully get a little bit more crit damage proccing on that one. But maybe he's a work in progress. Coming up next though, we have a Wet Barona. She's Evo 2 and fully enhanced. She's sitting at 98% crit rate though, and then 
3% resist. She has an attack gem with 12.5% crit rate and 14% uh, HP as well as 12% crit damage. She also has a crit rate gem with 12% crit damage up there. And what is this last one going to be? It's an attack gem. Actually surprised. Actually surprised. 10% uh, crit damage on this gem right here and then 13% crit rate. So crit rate, attack, attack. Pretty standard for Ruin. But let's take a look at these enhancements real quick. So we have some attack action, some HP, some crit damage, as well as defense and some crit rate. So all around, just trying to get as much damage out of this baby girl as much as possible. But she's not even Evo 3 though, so it could hurt her in the long run. Uh, next up though, we have a Super Ascendant uh, Water Barona. And it looks weird that they put it right here because it almost looks like it's fake. Like... I understand the red stars is what they wanted to go with, but this looks like it's fake, and then you just slap on Super Ascension right there. It literally looks like this was like done in like paint, and someone just like typed that in. Little rant, but doesn't really matter. But she's also on a ruin set over here. She has a crit damage gem of 13.5% crit rate up there. There's an attack gem of 26% crit rate. And then there's another attack gem of 21% crit rate. So she's sitting at 82% crit rate, which is pretty poggers. Pretty poggers, especially without a crit rate gem. That's that's wonderful. Uh, enhancements wise though, she has some attack. There's defense, HP, crit damage, and then crit rate as well. And then for her super ascension skill, she has immunity. 20% chance for that to work. It is what it is. Uh, moving on though, we have Water Indra here who is on his way to being Evo 3. He's also on a Ruin set, rocking 90% uh, uh, crit rate and then 31% resist up there. So he has a crit rate gem on him with 15% crit damage. There's an attack gem with 12.5% crit rate up there and 20.5% defense. And then there's an another attack gem of 13.5% crit rate. So nothing extravagant right there. Just crit rate, attack, attack for some damage out of him on a ruin set. No books, but enhancements wise though, he has some attack, defense, crit damage, and uh, also some HP. Uh, we'll bypass one of the Kateens, and we'll bypass one of the Mildews. Uh, this Mildew right here is rocking 42% resist right here on a broken set, fully booked up. Uh, he has an HP gem with 20.5% defense up there. There's a recovery gem with 22% resist, and then there's another recovery gem, so HP recovery recovery on this bad boy. What is the other one rocking? Recovery, HP, HP. So why is this one rocking double recovery? I know his recovery stat is dirt nasty low, but my goodness, man. My goodness. Uh, enhancements wise though, there's just some defense and HP up there. There's a Water Bulby, we're not going to really talk about her though. He does have an Evo 3 Water Hades though, which that panel on his profile looks pretty clean dude. I have a variant one so I can't really tell, but his normal look for this photo dude is pretty cool. Uh, anyways though, he's on an Intuition set rocking an attack gem of 13% crit rate. There's another attack gem of 18.5% crit rate and 15% resist. And then a uh, crit damage gem, as we have grown accustomed to, with 14% crit rate up there. So we're rocking attack, attack, crit damage. Yep. He's going for broke, man. Uh, and he's sitting at 76% resist, not resist, but crit rate, without a crit rate gem on him. Enhancements wise, though, he has resist, HP, and then attack. No crit rate, though. No crit rate, and he's at 76% crit rate. Definitely not bad. Looks like he has a uh, Evo 3 Water Wild Thing here in the works. She's currently on a broken set though, but she is sitting at 85% uh, resist, almost fully booked up. And let's take a peek at these gems real quick. So she has a defense gem with a fat 29% resist on that bad boy. There's a defense gem with 13% resist and 14.5% crit rate. And then there is a HP gem on her with 13.5% defense and then 22% resist. So what was that again? Defense, defense, HP. Okay. Okay. And then in terms of enhancements, there's just resistance and then some defense up there. Nothing extravagant. Moving on next though, we have a water cotine. Rocking that shield breaker and defense up. Fully booked up though. And he has that nice, nice leader skill nowadays. 
but on this broken set he's rocking 21% resist on his HP gem and 14.5% defense. He has a recovery gem with 18% resist and then a defense gem. Uh, pretty standard here for a healer setup and nothing really worth mentioning over there. Uh, a couple enhancements on him, just recovery, defense, and HP. Pretty standard. No real trinkets other than that HP one. And I'm going to skip these guys because it doesn't really matter. But we're going to click on his slime and just look at him real quick because why not. He just has a slime sitting here with 60% resist. I'm just hanging out, dude. I'm just hanging out. Uh, we have two Shelly's over here. Uh, one is rocking max resist, the other one's trying to catch up behind that one. But once again, on a broken set, fully booked up with some enhancements. Uh, there's a HP gem with 15% resist on that one. There's a defense gem with 28% resist on that one. And then another HP gem with 15% resist up there. And I'm not really talking about the attack and crit rate subs on him because he's clearly using this mon as a debuffer and not really a damage dealer which makes sense because Shelly has predator of its own element and you're going to be fighting hopefully uh, fire titan with your Shelly so predator isn't really going to do much damage even though it is single target and yeah it just makes sense to make sure that Shelly can hopefully not get any orbs and just spams defense down because that defense down is pretty great. Uh, he does have a crow hook though, which is a bit of a weird champ. And uh, a wet marie, which is like water purse but worse because we can get water purse from the hero's dungeon for free just by playing the game actively for like 30 days. But we're not going to get into that though. But he does have a crow hook. He probably uses this bad boy during the net 3 league, which is probably the, probably the only reason why people even use them at this point in time, which is perfectly fine. But can we get a super evolution for this boy? Can we? But anyways, he's sitting at 37% resist and then 96% crit rates. Fully enhanced. He has an attack gem of 13.5% crit rate. There is a HP gem of 18.5% crit rate and 11% crit damage. And then a crit rate gem of 13% defense and 13% crit damage. So what was that again? Attack, HP, crit damage. Attack, HP, crit rate. Okay. I got you. And enhancements wise, there's attack, resist, crit resist, and then attack. Then we have Harley over here. She's rocking nearly 100% crit rate. She's just 1% off, which at this point in time, I just counted as 100%. I mean, it's hard to believe that as many times as I've seen it with my Dark Indra sitting at like 99% crit rate of how much crit that he misses. But that 1% seems to be like, I don't know. 80 80 percent like it feels like you have 20 percent crit rate for whatever odd reason it's just math like being bad against me but anyways um 55 percent resist on her and then 100 percent crit rate on her she is on a ruin set with the trinkets with the books with the enhancements but she has a crit rate gem on her with 20 percent crit damage uh there's an attack gem with 21.5 percent crit rate and then another attack gem with 15% resist and 13% crit rate. I was surprised that there wasn't a crit damage gem on her. Really surprised. She's just crit rate, attack, attack. Uh, in terms of enhancements though, she has attack, HP, defense, crit damage. You know, pretty standard here to get some damage out of her. And she does have that lead, which is super duper nice. I do wish that my one of my Har Harleys was variant for that death below lead because it really does add up. But it is what it is. And then we finally have an EVO 3, Water Barona here, and she's super ascendant too. She's sitting at nearly 50% resist and 92% crit rate on an intuition set. She has the infamous crit damage gem with 22% crit rate up there. Uh, she has an attack gem with 14.5% crit rate and 12% crit damage on that one. And then another attack gem, so crit damage, attack attack, and this attack gem has 25% crit rate up there as well. Uh, enhancements wise though, she has defense, there's attack, HP, crit damage, and once again some more HP. Which once again he's trying to maximize some survivability, but mainly some damage out of this bad girl. And for her uh, super ascension skill, though she's rocking combat prowess, which honestly isn't that bad of a skill if it does proc, but obviously in a titan situation it doesn't do anything. It, it, it does nothing. 
Alright, so we're bringing it home here with the fire mines, and then we're gonna be super duper nosy in mana storage because we are here already, boys. Uh, but anyways, starting off here we have Fire Cure with her recent update, which I'm lying because that is Water Cure, so pay no attention to that statement. But anyways, uh, she's rocking 62% resist right here on a broken set with some enhancements, but still only Evo 2, which I'm a bit confused by, judging from Monoskin's level 62 account. It's almost like he just started doing this like yesterday, but we're gonna go on here. Um, Anyway, she has an HP gem rocking 15% resist and nearly 15% recovery. Uh, there's a recovery gem with 19% resist. A little bit of crit rate up there, but it doesn't matter because she is a tank. Tank, not a tank, but she is a recovery type, actually. And didn't back in the day she used to be crit reliant for her morale boost? It's just something to bring up. And uh, then a defense gem. Nothing extravagant here at all. Just a run-of-the-mill... Uh, fire Kira, but she's hanging out in the box here, but she has HP and then uh, defense for her enhancements. Moving on though, we have Fire uh, Kernunos, Kernunos, we're not going to say his name anymore, Mr. C. Uh, he's sitting at a whopping 78% uh, resist up there. He does have enhancements, Evo 2. Uh, he has an HP gem on him, rocking 18% defense. A recovery gem with 17% resist, and then another recovery gem with 32% resist up there. Absolutely beautiful, and then 13.5% defense up there. So HP recovery, recovery. Making sure that bad boy heals because as we can see here once again, very, very anemic recovery stat. Uh, and enhancements wise though, he's rocking defense, HP, and then recovery. Once again, because that recovery stat is pretty trash. He is a defender though, so you have to, you know, you have to understand that. Moving on next though, we have uh, Fire Poseidon. No books on him, but Evo 2 and fully enhanced on a Ruin set. Uh, he has a defense gem, rocking 19.5% attack and then 14% crit rates. Uh, there's a HP gem of 9% resist up there and then nearly 29% crit rate up there. That's a fat amount of HP, not uh, HP, but crit rate on the HP gem of Ruin, dude. And then an, an attack gem of 17% crit rate. So what was that again? Okay, defense, HP attack. So bruiser build on a ruin set. And even though he is on a bruiser build, he's sitting at 80% crit rate. That's phenomenal. Um, enhancements though, he has HP, attack, crit damage, and then crit rate as well. But that's, that's phenomenal, dude. Uh, we have Fire Shai Wu Jing over here on a Siphon set, rocking 53% um, resist. No, no real crit rate, but he's going for survivability for debuffing purposes only, which makes sense. But let's take a look at this Gem of Leech set. So HP Gem with 18.5% uh, attack up there and 12% defense. There's a an attack Gem with 13% defense up there and 14% crit rate. And then there's a defense gem. So once again, bruiser build here just for survivability, which makes sense. And this one's rocking 14% resist and a little bit of crit rate as well. Enhancements wise though, we have defense, attack, crit damage, HP. And then moving on here, we have one, two, three, four. Four Shinobis and then four Wukongs as well. Uh, this Shinobi is on the Gem of Armor set. He's rocking 55% uh, resist with 92% crit rate. He has a crit rate gem up there with 13% resist. An attack gem with 18% crit damage and 14.5% crit rate. And then another attack gem with 13% crit rate as well. And yeah, 92% crit rate, dude. Okay. And there's no crit rate enhancements either, dude. That's pretty nice. Um, HP, attack, crit damage, and then just some defense for some survivability from that boy. That's pretty solid. Only Evo 2 though, man, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and say that's a trash shinobi. JK. Uh, this bad boy is on a broken set as well. He's rocking 34% resist and then 85% crit rate. Even though the resist doesn't really matter, I just have a habit of saying that. But uh, crit damage gem, of course, because this is mana, with 21.5% crit rate up there. There's an attack gem with 21% crit rate up there. 
And then there's another attack gem with 22% crit rate and then 13.5% defense up there. And enhancements wise, we do have some crit rate on this bad boy, but there's crit damage, defense, attack, and a little bit of HP as well. Moving on to the third shinobi. This one is on the actual ruin set. Uh, he's rocking 97% uh, crit rate though. Solid. Um, crit rate gem of 19.5% defense. An attack gem of 14% crit rate. And then another attack gem. So crit rate, attack, attack. And nothing ex extravagant here but 17% HP added to that boy. And enhancements wise, it's almost a carbon copy of the other guy. There's some crit damage, attack, defense, HP, and some crit rate as well. Pretty solid. Just get that bad boy to Evo 3 one day. Moving on next up, we have the Wukong Gang. Um, by gang because there's three of them in a row just like we have a whole bunch of shinobis in a row but anyways this one's on a broken set rocking 75 percent crit rate on this bad boy with some enhancements and of course trinkets but only only evo 2 uh this attack gem though has 21 percent defense up there as well as 20 percent crit rate uh there's a crit damage gem rocking 20 percent crit rate okay attack crit damage and then we have attack again so crit damage attack attack is the goal right here Balls to the wall RNG man. But this attack gem has 24.5% crit rate up there. Once again, 75% isn't anything to scoff at. Do wish it was a little bit higher, but you can't have everything in the world. It all comes down to subs, but there's some defense, crit damage, and then attack, and a little bit of HP on this bad boy as well. Moving on to the next Wukong. This one is on a um, siphon set. Trinkets, enhancements, the whole nine yards, and he's sitting at 87% crit rate. So there is an attack gem of 13.5% crit rate on that bad boy. There's another attack gem of 10% crit damage. And then there's the crit rate gem bringing it home. Nothing it's driving it there, but basically crit rate, attack, attack. Not bad. Not bad. Um, enhancements wise, though, there's some defense, there's some attack. Crit rates, HP, and then some crit damage to go ahead and fill him out. Moving on next though, we have another Wukong. This one's rocking 99% crit rate on a Valor set. Interesting. There's an attack gem though, sitting with 13.5% uh, crit rate. A little bit of defense up in there too. We have an, another attack uh, gem with 21% crit rate. And then we also have a crit rate gem, so crit rate attack attack with 18% crit damage up there. Okay, okay. Enhancements wise though, we have defense, HP, attack, crit damage, and of course, some more attack. Okay, not bad. Then we have a fire Katin over here, he's fully booked up. This bad boy is on a gem of healer set to keep him alive, he does have some enhancements as well. Uh, let's take a look at his gems though. So he has a defense gem on him, a little bit of resist. There's a recovery gem with 15% resist up there, and then a HP gem. So pretty standard for healers. Defense, uh, recovery, HP, nothing extravagant there. And then for enhancements, he just has defense and recovery. That's it. That is it. Then we have an EVO 3 Fire Shinobi on a Valor set. Uh, he's rocking nearly 80% uh, crit rate on this bad boy. Enhancements, trinkets, the whole nine yards. But there's an attack gem over here with 21.5% crit rate and then 12.5% defense. There is another attack gem, which I thought was going to be a crit rate gem. But this attack gem has 21.5% crit rate on that bad boy. And then a crit damage gem, because it's mana, uh, a 14% crit rate gem. And because I keep saying that because it's mana, it's just because I'm memeing from the last account review that he had, where literally everything in the world was like crit damage, attack, crit rate. Like, not gonna lie to you. 100% not gonna lie to you. But enhancements wise though, he has some defense, crit damage, defense, some crit rate, attack, and then some HP. Making sure he get those percentages up in there, except for no attack percentage, which is a bit of a weird champ, man. Why no attack percentage? Moving on, though, we have Fire Jacka on a Siphon set. Uh, she's rocking 71% crit rate up there. Very, very great farmer. One of the best farmers in the game, no doubt. But uh, let's take a look at these gems. Uh, crit rate. Attack. Attack. Once again, nothing extravagant here. 
no books on this Draca either, at least not this one, but he does have two, so the other one could have a little bit more investments up in there, but you just need something to farm out PvE. It doesn't really matter how good your Siphon set is for it, as long as it works. But anyways, this Draca is rocking some attack, crit damage, crit resist, HP, and then some attack. Uh, coming up next though is the uh, variant Wukong over here on a Siphon set as well, sitting at 93% crit rate. Uh, Let's take a look. Crit rate gem with 17% crit damage up there. There's an attack gem with 11% crit damage and then 21.5% crit rate. And then there's another attack gem with 21% defense on that one. So crit rate attack attack once again. Definitely not bad. Not bad at all. Enhancements wise though, there's some defense, uh, HP, crit damage, and then also some attack. Okay. Okay. Uh, Wood Cherry here, she's fully booked up. Maybe she was being used for the Nat 3 League, or maybe she was being used for the Titans, but she has been abandoned. There's a Fire Cure here. The other one, she's on a broken set as well. Uh, let's take a look at her gems real quick, even though she's not enhanced at all. But she's rocking a Defense Gem, a Recovery Gem with some Resist up there, and then an HP Gem. So once again, pretty standard for a Recovery Mon, just to have that HP Defense Recovery. There's the other Fire Cherry here, but this one actually has um, gems on her, and she does have enhancements as well, so we'll take a peek at her. But there's an HP gem with 15% resist up there, as well as 19% recovery. There's a recovery gem, and then a defense gem with 13% recovery up there as well. And enhancements, she has HP recovery and defense. Once again, just making sure that she, got, she has enough recovery to do her job properly can't stress that enough because of that very very low recovery stat not as bad as bass but <laughs> I mean at this point in time you could argue that it's it's no different next up we we have uh, fire mildew though he does have enhancements fully booked up on a broken set there's a HP gem over here with 19.5% recovery there is a recovery gem with 15% resist and then there's a defense gem Nothing extravagant right there, but HP, defense, recovery, once again, pretty standard. And for enhancements, there's just HP and defense. Moving on, though, we have Fire Neza over here, which isn't really touched at all, so I'm not going to bother. Fire Candling, fully booked up, but nothing extravagant here either. Fire Ramu on a Pugilist set. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and dive into this, boys. I'm going to dive into it. Dude is fully booked up on a Pugilist set with some enhancements on him as well. Uh, he has a attack gem with 17% resist up there, another attack gem, and then defense. So, kind of a bruiser-ish build. Not really bruiser, but, you know, not super duper glassy either. He wants some stability from his stats up in there, and this one has 16% resist on a defense gem. I never would have thought that I would see a Ramu on a Pugilist set, but today, we see it. Today, we see it. And enhancements wise though, he has attack, crit resist, HP, and attack. So maybe this is just a let's have fun with a Nat 3 League type mon because of SP Siphon and then also being able to heal the entire squad. It's pretty, pretty interesting. And then last we have Fire Draca over here on an intuition set. She's rocking 98% uh, crit rate up there and then also 73% resist, enhancements, trinkets, the whole nine yards. She has an attack gem with 17% crit damage. Uh, there's a crit rate gem with 18.5% defense and 15% resist. And then there's a attack gem. I'm surprised it wasn't crit rate, attack, attack, or crit rate, attack, um, crit damage. I'm surprised, man. What happened to the old mana that we used to know? Where's he at, bro? Is he gone? Is he gone? Enhancements wise though, there's some defense, there's some crit resist, crit damage, HP, and then some resist, but no attack. No attack at all. What's going on here, man? What's going on? Oh, well, well that pretty much concludes up Mana's box, you guys. And as tradition, we're just going to go over here and peek into storage because we are here anyways. And he does have the Hanamura, so he does have access to the other storages that I do not have access to because I don't have the Hanamura. But he has some slimes on this one. There's some more slimes in this one. He has a couple of Mr. C's up in here. There's a Poseidon. Uh, there's a Water Gleam. A whole bunch of Radis. 
And that's it. Nothing else. No exotics. Nothing. Dude is purely going ham on them titans, dude. Purely going hams, which kind of sucks though. I was hoping for something ext extravagant going on here. But that's pretty much the end of this video, you guys. Um, Mana needs to go do some PvP, but it looks like he doesn't really care about PvP. But this is a uh, third revisit to Mana Skin's account. And it seems like it's progressing nicely. It's just, I feel like it's on the cusp right now of like super duper greatness, which he's just making that transition. Uh, and I'm sure once the months goes on, especially for this year, that his account is really gonna fill itself out probably in the later part of this year. But he's just making that transition from going from like noob cake kid like me to actually pro gamer. But once again, I'm nothing more than a filthy casual as you guys know it. If you enjoyed this video though, feel free to like it. Uh, once again, if you're interested in account review, you can either leave a comment below, but I implore you to join the Discord and get active there so that way we can communicate. But just remember that um, there are already ones lined up for this month and we're not gonna do a repeat of uh, the end of last year where there's just a whole bunch of account reviews done because there's a whole bunch of monster videos that I need to put out because there's been a whole bunch of revisions to the monsters and I rather have both new and older players have access to those videos first before we talk about account reviews especially with their new skills but thank you guys so much for watching I definitely hope you guys enjoyed the video and you're super excited for the account reviews coming back and if you haven't considered subscribing already, go ahead so you don't miss out on the latest in MSL. And I'll see you guys in the next one.